When it rains, many of us don't want to be outside, but snakes, on the other hand, can become more active. ABC 10 News anchor Aaron Dickens speaks to an expert who says snake season is coming early this year. <laughs> And even though the rain comes down, the snakes are still going to come out like this guy. This is a Southern Pacific rattlesnake. He's been hibernating all winter long and he's thirsty. The snakes have been in brumation, which is basically hibernation for reptiles. And rain will probably bring them out, especially if we get some warm weather. They need to come out and drink just like we need to drink water. Bruce Ireland is the founder of the Snake Wranglers. The group of volunteers rescues and relocates rattlesnakes in San Diego County. So this is a really common San Diego gopher snake and it gets big can get up to six plus feet. And sadly, it's probably the snake most often misidentified as a rattlesnake. Bruce started it eight years ago with his two young daughters. They're now headed to high school and potentially college. So now I've had to reach out to the community. I have 23 wranglers now on my team. So unbelievable. And they are busy. In February, Bruce had 26 calls for snake removals. And last February, he only had four calls. He says last month, we had much warmer weather than the prior year. Warmer weather, as soon as they feel that warmth, they'll come out and try to find a meal, try to find water. And they only need a little bit of water. Could be a creek, could be a pond, but they will take it right off a leaf. Like if a leaf captures a little pool of water from the rain. Most of the calls Bruce gets are about rattlesnakes. And many of them are from homeowners. We have to keep them close to the capture site. So within a mile or two square miles of the capture, we try to find a nature preserve or eco preserve or some kind of canyon section, and we'll hike them back in and put them back into nature. And if you see a snake like this, Bruce says don't kill it. You can call him and his team and they will safely relocate it. Aaron Dickens, ABC 10 News.